problem with libel is that it's the biggest chill on freedom of expression in the United Kingdom and it affects everyone from journalists to authors to bloggers to internet service providers. It means that there is much less freedom of expression in the United Kingdom than there should be. I think the big problem is really a problem for us as readers that there's a, there's a big swathe of topics that are simply off the agenda. Most publishers have now told us that they won't publish books about individuals or companies that they know are likely to sue for libel. So in 2007, I was sued by an Indian holy man based in the Punjab, 4,000 miles away, uh, who didn't read, write or speak English, yet he sued in this jurisdiction for libel. Um, and the case uh, went on for more than three years uh, and cost me over £100,000 and I faced bankruptcy on a, on a number of occasions. We've experienced quite a lot of libel um, problems in, in so far as we roughly get about a request a week uh, from people, to from organisations, um, from companies asking us to take posts down from our discussion boards um, or that they will pursue um, a legal course of action. It isn't just scientists and medics who are being sued and the journals that they write in and the editors of their material. What we're also seeing is other areas of scholarship are really affected. Historians, for example, who want to talk about the history of recent conflicts, or authors who want to write a biography. It's a very wide range of subjects that we're contacted on. It can be, for instance, a company that's given very poor service. Uh, it has been, um, you know, famous authors in the parenting field. Uh, it can be organisations that say they're being talked about unfairly. Um, and our knee-jerk reaction is to take those posts down, which has a, a rather chilling effect, I think, on freedom of speech, because while they may not all be fair and true, uh, I'm pretty sure a portion are. The financial cost to publishers is, is immense, from hundreds of pounds every time a book has to be read for libel to hundreds of thousands of pounds every time a publisher actually gets sued for libel. That's millions of pounds in total that's being taken out of the editorial budget and that's another whole swathe of books which are not being published because of the cost of, of fighting libel actions. I edit the award-winning publication Index on Censorship and libel is my biggest headache. I'm publishing journalists from Mexico, from Russia, who often are putting their lives and, and the lives of their own journalists on the line and I have to censor them because they might be making accusations or claims that I just couldn't be confident that I could defend and win in an English court. As a science journalist, I think I should be able to write fairly and reasonably and accurately and so on, but the libel laws make it incredibly difficult. If the libel laws can be misused and abused in the way they are to restrict information which may save lives, may in the long run improve the quality of people's lives, if they're being misused in that way, then obviously we need to look at them and we need to change things.